Right, I've been tasked with a tsunami now. I'm going to start off with two plates which are next to each other. And we usually find that tsunamis are created with a subductive plate. One plate goes down in relative to the other plate. And what you get is you get a jerk. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. And over the top of that lot is water. As this plate here on the right hand side jerks upwards, or this plate here on the left hand side jerks downwards beside it, the water that's just here is lifted, it's lifted up, and it creates a wave. And that wave moves in to the left and to the right. Now, if it just so happens, run away from this plate, that the, the ocean gets gradually shallow, what happens, of course, is as this wave here comes inland, it gradually starts to get pushed up by the bottom of the ocean. It's actually come out to reach it. It becomes bigger, and it becomes bigger. And actually, what you get at the beginning when you're stood over here in your little house is it gets rushed out to sea, pushed out to sea. But then eventually, of course, it gets built up, and you get this amplification as you're moving it in line. So it starts off quite low and it gets bigger and then it gets actually gets bigger. Um, and of course we've actually had two quite big important tsunamis recently. Um, Tohoku, which is the one that hit Sendai and Sendai region. And of course the Boxing Day tsunami which is known more recently as the Asian tsunami. Boxing Day tsunami of course in 2000 and and to Tohoku earlier this year in 2011. Thank you.